test your English skills with my Grammar Goat English Academy quiz. I'm Richard from the Grammar Goat English Academy. Welcome to my English language quiz. If you learn something from the quiz, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. You can also share the quiz with your friends. Who can get the best score? Are you ready to test your English? Let's start the quiz. How many points can you score? Keep a note and tell me your final score at the end of the quiz. Round one is the grammar round. Question one. Stop. Silly. Stop being silly. Question number two. Dogs love taken for a walk. Dogs love being taken for a walk. Number three. I've really busy lately. I've been really busy lately. Question four. You should have at the meeting. You should have been at the meeting. And the last question. Question five. Quiet. I'm watching the news. Be quiet. I'm watching the news. OK, how did you do in the grammar round? How many points did you score? Let's move to round two now. Words. Vocabulary. It's very simple. All you have to do is say what you see. Number one. What is it? It's a ladybird or ladybug. In Britain, we say ladybird. In North America, they say ladybug. Number two now. What is it? It's a cockroach. Number three. What is it? It's a scorpion. Number four. What can you see? It's a wasp. And the final question. Question number five. What is it? It's a dragonfly. Wow. How did you do in the vocabulary round? How many points did you score? Remember, if you've learned something from my quiz, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel, The Grammar Goat English Academy. OK, round three now is the listening round. It's very, very simple. I'll read a short sentence. I want you to count how many words you can hear. Let's start with an example. Listen and count the words. Do you live near here? Do you live near here? How many words? Check. Do you live near here? There were five words. OK, that was the example. Let's start with number one. Listen how many words. How much did you pay for your holiday to Costa Rica? How much did you pay for your holiday to Costa Rica? How many words? Let's check. How much did you pay for your holiday to Costa Rica? There were 11 words. Number two. Listen how many words. Are you busy 
Or can I talk to you for a moment? Are you busy? Or can I talk to you for a moment? Check. Are you busy? Or can I talk to you for a moment? There were 12 words. OK, number three. What is the most difficult thing about learning English? What is the most difficult thing about learning English? Check. What is the most difficult thing about learning English? There are nine words. Can you buy some milk on your way home tonight? Can you buy some milk on your way home tonight? OK, check. How many words did you hear? Can you buy some milk on your way home tonight? There are 10 words. And the last question, question number 10. Ready? I am working from home tomorrow, so I will see you on Monday. I am working from home tomorrow, so I will see you on Monday. How many words? Check. I am working from home tomorrow, so I will see you on Monday. There are 13 words. How did you do in the listening round? A fantastic test of your listening skills. OK, it's time to move on now to round number four. Spelling. I'll say a word. How do you spell it? Number one. Spell cauliflower. Cauliflower. Are you ready? Check. Cauliflower. Question number two. Spell broccoli. Broccoli. Are you ready? Check. Broccoli. Question number three. Spell sardines. Sardines. Are you ready? Check. Sardines. Next, number four. Spell asparagus. Asparagus. Check. Asparagus. Last one now. Number five. Spell artichoke. Artichoke. Ready? Check. Artichoke. How did you do in the spelling round? Are you ready to move on to the pronunciation round? I'll show you a word. How do you say it? All of the words this week are names. Here is name number one. How do you say it? Imogen. The stress is on the first syllable. Imogen. Number two now. How do you say it? Sean. Sean. Number three. How do you say this name? Jonathan. Jonathan. The stress is on the first syllable. Next, how do you say this name? Rory. Rory. And the last one, number five. How do you say this name? Ethan. Ethan. Wow, how did you do with the pronunciation round? 
it's time to move on to the last round, round number six. This week, round number six is idioms. Look at the sentences. What do these idioms mean? Here is question number one. The exam was a piece of cake. What does a piece of cake mean as an idiom? The exam was a piece of cake. The exam was very easy. Is my quiz a piece of cake? Okay, number two now. I live a throw from the station. This means I live very near the station, a short distance. But what is the missing word? How do you make this idiom? I live a stone's throw from the station. A stone's throw very near. Okay, idiom number three now. I'm too old to play football. What is this idiom? To be too old to do something. The answer is I'm over the hill. Hmm, I'm over the hill when it comes to playing football. Okay, the next idiom, number four. The watch was very expensive. What is the idiom? The watch was very expensive. The watch cost an arm and a leg. If something costs an arm and a leg, it means it costs a lot. It's very expensive. And the last idiom, idiom number five. I'm ill, I'm under the... How do you make this idiom? I'm ill, I'm under the weather. Okay, were there any new idioms for you in this round? If there were, don't forget to like the video and of course, subscribe to my channel. It's time to check your score. Remember, each round was a maximum of five points. That means the maximum total score is 30 points. What is your score? Please let me know in the comments. Okay, that's the end of my English language quiz. Don't forget to share the quiz with your friends. Who can score the most points? I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next English video.